Communication is the heart of any relationship, but how do different forms of communication impact how we feel understood and satisfied in our relationships? Today, we're diving into a fascinating study that explores the roles of face-to-face -face interaction and texting in shaping our connections. Hi everyone, welcome back to The Brain Coach. In today's video we're exploring a study conducted by Monique Pullman, Tyler Norman, and Aaron Crockett, published in the Journal of Computers in Human Behavior Reports. This daily diary study investigates how face-to-face -face communication and texting affect understanding and satisfaction in romantic relationships. The study found that face-to-face -face communication plays a critical role in making partners feel understood and satisfied. When couples spend more time talking in person, they often feel a deeper connection and better understanding of each other. But what about texting? The study revealed some surprising insights. While texting doesn't strongly predict overall relationship satisfaction, it does help partners feel understood, especially when face-to-face -face time is limited. So texting can be a helpful supplement, but it's not a substitute for in-person conversations. The study emphasizes that the real magic happens in the interplay between different communication forms. It's not just about choosing one over the other, but understanding how they complement each other to build a stronger relationship. So what can we learn from this study? Here are some practical tips. First, prioritize face-to-face -face time. Make an effort to spend quality time in person with your loved ones. Second, use texting wisely. While texting can help maintain a connection, especially when you're apart, remember it can't replace the depth of face-to-face -face interactions. Third, mix it up. Utilize various communication methods to keep your relationship dynamic and understanding high. Thanks for watching. If you found this video insightful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. And don't forget to comment below with your thoughts on communication in relationships. Until next time, keep communicating and stay connected.